Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today guys, we're on video 22. Oh, so we're on the home stretch guys. And today I wanted to talk about something you see me do on my channel many, many times. And that is my DIYs. If you've watched my channel from the beginning guys, you'll notice that I have a number of DIY products. I have scalp oils, I have deep conditioners, butters, even protein treatments, which I love my egg mask protein treatment. It works magic on my hair. Just you name it I try to make different DIYs for my hair because I want to try to make natural things for my hair to see how it responds and sometimes I see that it likes the natural product from my kitchen rather than something I buy from the stores for some products so today I'm going to tell you guys how I make some of those DIYs that I do and also a fun little trick to save you guys on product tip number one guys is when you're mixing oils so if you notice on my channel I have a few oil mix from my hot oil treatment to my scalp oils I usually will measure my oils when I put them in there because one I need to know how much is in there and two I also add essential oils in there so that's a big part guys on actually seeing results with those essential oils so a uh, general rule that I use is if I'm using one ounce of carrier oil I will go and add 12 drops of essential oil now this is just a rule that I use guys you don't have to add as much or maybe you need a little bit more that's the ratio that has worked for my hair so if you are using certain oils and you see you're getting scalp irritation maybe you are using too much essential oil or if you're not seeing any type of result maybe you need to add 14 drops instead of 12 drops in your carrier oil so kind of start with a general one ounce with about six to eight drops of essential oil unless you have a different guy that's telling you exactly how to mix it and build up from there and see how it works for your hair now the next tip guys is measuring your deep conditioning DIY treatments or whatever products you're making that's not just oil and essential oil mix now for when I'm making something like a protein treatment one of the things I love to add is oils in there of course my hair love oils it one helps add so much slip to it and two I see a lot more result because I use oils like coconut oil avocado oil and olive oil and babasu oil that penetrates your hair shaft so I want to make sure that I'm using them to help bring that product more into my cuticles and hopefully through all the layers of my hair so I can get some good treatment so if you're making a deep conditioner at home Let's say you're using avocado and you want to make a treatment with that. A good rule that I use to mix my products like those are, I use about a cup of base product, which is usually eggs, cottage cheese, mayo, whatever it is you're going to use. And I will go and add about two to four tablespoons of carrier oils. It depends on what I'm using. When I'm using something like avocado, it is a lot more moisturizing. Usually I'll put only two tablespoons of carrier oil. But if it's something like cottage cheese or mayo, something that's more dairy, I will use four tablespoons of carrier oils. And with that, guys, I will add about four to eight drops of essential oil. Another tip that's important, very important tip, because this is going to save you on product. I didn't know this when I first started making DIY mix, but now I do, so I want to make sure you guys know it as well. So when you're making any DIY project, a great, great little tip to use is first, get about a dash, a drop of whatever products you're going to use, and just use the back of your hand and kind of mix those together and see how do they mix. If it's looking clumpy, lumpy, and you can see pretty much each product by themselves, they're not blending well, that's not a good mix. <laughs> those products are not going to blend together, they're not going to to actually make a nice paste or a nice liquid for you to use on your hair so they probably won't work the way you want them to work so don't mix those products together guys now if you're mixing them together you see that they blend becomes a smooth texture it's creamy it's nice great now you have a good mix you can make that DIY mix and enjoy it now another rule I want you guys to pay attention to is that when you're making DIY products think of the ingredients individually because if you are making something like a avocado or egg mass I usually don't make those for too long I will keep them now for about one to two weeks that's pretty much max and even with my rice water or shampoo guys I don't leave that for long I leave that for about two to three weeks that's a little bit longer because I add a few more products but DIY mix I try not to leave them for a long time because they have a very short shelf life guys they go bad you lose products you may damage your hair and scalp so just a general rule of thumb is to keep it for about two 
two weeks. Now, last tip guys is storage guys. You want to make sure that you know where to store your products when you make them. When I make my DIY scalp oil, I usually will put that somewhere in my room away from light in a dark cool place. Something like a avocado mask or mayo mask, I will leave that in the fridge until I use it. If I put something in the fridge, I put it out for about an hour, maybe 30 minutes, depends on the room temperature before I use it to help it cool down to room temperature. But make sure you are storing your DIYs properly so you can actually keep them and they don't go bad and you'll be able to use them. Again, this is just a general setup for you guys to see how to mix your product and to make sure that you see some result out of those DIY mix because I've started using these rules and they've worked great for my new product and my scalp oil is working a lot better now. So mix and match them and as I mentioned, start small and see if they work for your hair. So <laughs> that's pretty much it guys. If you have any tips that you use when you make DIY products, anything that helps you out to make a great little product and to see good results and even how you store it, please comment down below and let us know. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, of course guys, subscribe to my channel. I will have another video tomorrow. <laughs> so come back to see more. And don't forget to like, comment, and go over and watch my last video guys.